Yo, what's up my stalkers? How you guys doing today? Um, yeah, seeing as we've finished Craven, uh, Craven Manor, um, I tried some, um, some Splendor, uh, Splendermans. <laughs> Slenderman, but I'm still stuck. I don't know why, but I, I just can't seem to get the hang of it. Um, I'm not sure if you know this game. Uh, it's called Spelunky, and this is actual the actually the um, the HD um, release of the game. There was an older version, which you I think you can still download it for free. And uh, this is like the remake of the game. Um, I'm using my controller with the um, uh, shit. What are the grips names again? The Power grips, playmaker grips. That's it. Playmaker grips. I've got such a horrible memory. Okay, let's um, let's have a look. Uh, I'm just gonna do the adventure, and I've just reset my um, what's it called? My save game. And you can actually play this with more people, but I only have one controller and. I'm not sure if the keyboard will work on this. You have a couple of characters you can choose, and you have a lot of them that you can unlock. Um, 16? Uh, um, I haven't unlocked uh, all of them, so well, I just reset it my save, so that's uh, one thing. Um, let's see, what character should we choose? Like this one. <laughs> With the... The big ass mustache. Okay. I think we need to do the. Yeah, it's like a sort of tutorial. It's. It's still fun and you can still die on the tutorial. Let's see. Uh, this is the guy. You can just walk around and you can run. You can pick st uh, stuff up. That's a journal. Greetings, my name is Yang and this is my journal. Dusty maps and rumors are amazing of amazing treasures have led me here, deep under the desert. There's something very strange about this place. The layout seems to change all the time. I've never seen the same room twice. Yeah. Uh, it could be the legendary curse of Olmec. The one they say traps people inside the caves forever. I push the idea out of my mind and focus on the treasure instead. If I master the basic basics of movement and combat, I'll leave here a rich man. Okay, so this is the game. Um, normally, when you play the game, you have uh, a timer. And I think it's about three minutes. And if you don't finish the level within three, three minutes, and some kind of ghost, uh, or one big ghost, will come onto the screen, and will, if you touch it, you die. So you have to um, uh, keep keep a nice pace. Okay, and these are just snakes. You can either jump on them, and they die. You can use your whip, like this. Uh, you can like hold on to almost anything. I love how he grovels. <laughs> and usually I just jump on him, it's usually easy. Uh, yeah, you use the running button. You can collect some treasures. Um, you can see there's some treasure in here as well. In the... Um, what's it called? The ore. It's like gold. There's gold in there. There's some more. Okay, you know, the ladders in the game. Usually I just keep jumping up a bit so it goes a bit faster. Uh, I think killing, uh, actually killing monsters or killing these uh, these snakes gives you some um, 
some gold as well. Okay, um, normally this would look impossible, because if you fall into the spikes you die, but if you're at the same level as the spikes, you can just walk through them. I didn't know that at the start, and a lot of trouble with that. Let's grab all the loot. Oh, as you can see here, if you place a bomb here, that thing will blow up as well. It makes a huge explosion. You have to be careful. And press RB. Well, it's R1 on my uh, PlayStation controller. Then you go in. Uh, see, the journey has been more difficult than I expected. I've fallen in spike pits, stepped into traps, and been attacked by monsters. Yet, no matter what happens, I always wake up at the entrance to the mines. It's like death itself had lost its way down here. Despite the eeriness of these events, I remain focused at the task at hand. Eagerly, I press on, pursuing my fame and fortune. Um, I've seen a couple of um, hidden um, levels. And they were quite nice as well. They were really hard, but it's like you get better loot. And well, so far, you can't spend it on anything. But we'll get there in a while. I hate these bats. These are the worst. I mean, they don't, they don't look hard, but uh, if you get if you get like a couple of these guys, then they're, you're just gonna have a bad time. Yeah, let's place a bomb here. Open these chests. Oh, nice. More rope. Rope is always good. Like this, you can't go up. If you use a rope, you can just put it anywhere. It'll just um, go up. It doesn't even need to be on the ceiling. Get some more. And the biggest thing I love about this game is shopkeepers. Uh, but we will get there in a, in a bit, I think. Okay, you have some pots. Sometimes there's uh, jewels in there, but sometimes there's a snake or a spider or something. Oh, nice. In these boxes you can just push. It's fairly easy now. They're not... Uh, the further we get, we'll have really horrible monsters, really strong ones and... Let's have a look. Oh, more treasure. Okay, this, you just need to run over. Place a bomb. going fairly well, uh, I might add. <laughs> Usually I die on the most stupid things. Let's see, I caught a glimpse of a lush paradise in the other day at the end of the mines. Yeah, these things. <sighs> you could, how could such a place exist so far underground and what lies beyond? Cave merchants speak of even more fabulous sites further below. Ancient ruins and cities made of gold. The very idea makes my restless heart beat faster. Yeah, you see those uh, things. If you bring those to the uh, to the entrance or the to the uh, the entrance to the next level, you get some extra cash. But uh, there's also also a girl you can bring um, there. Oh yeah, this is a nice thing. You can't you can't go down here. At least, I think you die, you don't hold on to it, you just die, so it's sort of a trap. This is to throw things. And you find a lot of stones, which are actually really helpful, and... Oh shit. <laughs> and uh, there will be traps in the mines as well. But I think I'll, I'm going to show you that later on. Yeah, sure, let's place a bomb here. And the fun thing about this game, it's never the same. So every time you play this, it's different. And the levels are always different. And um, 
Yeah, that's what makes it fun. Oh, nice, we have a, a vendor here. Let's have a look. Okay, there are two ways to do this. You can either buy the things, or if you pick it up, the guy will start following you. And if you leave the store without buying, he will come after you with his shotgun. And you don't want to mess with this guy, uh, unless you're like stronger than him. But usually one shotgun um, shot to you uh, will take four hearts. Uh, well, there isn't, uh, I think, a max to the hearts you can get, but you won't find any hearts just lying around uh, in the level. You have to save a girl, take her to the entrance, and you get one lousy heart. Uh, well, you we can buy some. some bombs, are always good. I like bombs. Yeah. I'll show you, I think, on the next episode what happens when you try to rob one of these uh, merchants. <laughs> they really go ballistic. <laughs> See what's standing here. Oh, here's the girl. Uh, by the way, there's, I think, two or three different things you can do. You can just pick her up. You can even throw her away. But she will die if you uh, if you don't take care of her. Uh, you can basically just run around with no problem. Um, oh shit! You can even hit her with a whip. Um, but I want this treasure. Oh, you can! <laughs> I wanted to point at the screen. Like, do you see this thing? These are the traps. They always go only left to right. They don't shoot up upwards or downwards, but... I'm not sure if you saw that, but if you throw a stone down there or a pot or anything, it will fire. And the thing is now, I can't get out. So, if I do this... If I pick this up, something will happen, but I'll show you. Oh shit, where's the girl? Where's the girl? <laughs> she always starts wandering off. Oh, there she is. Ah, oh, she's fine down there. She's fine down there. Um, at least I hope so. If the thing that's... Uh, I think it's gonna happen, it's... She's, she can probably die, but... <laughs> let's have a look. Really? Nothing? Oh, well, normally uh, a really big boulder just comes down and wrecks up the place. And... Uh, you usually need to get out of the way for that to work or to not die actually <laughs> yeah you can get hit by anything in this game like your own bomb will kill you or um, uh, so look let's deliver this you don't need to press anything you can just um, run over here and it's fine yeah, for, at first I thought you had to choose whether to save the girl and get an extra life or to get that statue and um, get some money, but you can do, just do both. Also I have a journal, which you can see. Uh, see, damsel brings helpless damsels to the exit and you'll be re rewarded with a kiss. Uh, there's pages and pages of monsters you can uh, come across. I don't think I've seen it, uh, all of them, but there are very... I don't know how many there are, but there are lots of them. I see monsters, places, items, and traps. I think we're good to go. Oh man, I've been recording for almost five... Uh, five team? <laughs> five team? It's, it's in Dutch. Fifteen minutes. Okay, last thing. To whoever, whoever holds this journal, I hope you find it useful. It deserves... It serves me well, but I no longer need it. I'm descending into the caves for what I hope is the last time. I won't return until I've escaped with the ultimate treasure. Or are there even greater delights to be discovered? <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. You can you can also get um, a dog to save. <laughs> Which makes a, a really cute sound as well. Maybe I'll do that for the next episode. Uh, take this key, it will open the entrance to the mines. Follow me if you dare. Happy exploring. Yang. This is basically where it all starts. You go in here, and um, 
every time you clear it's usually three or four levels until you go to the next um, scene um, you go to the jungle and then you go to the uh, ice world I think and then it's the it's like a sort of an Egyptian style but if you die you have to start out at the mines again so it can be really frustrating but it's really rewarding when you do well so okay guys thank you for watching um, yeah let me know what you think about this game um, I just want to fill in the gap until the new amnesia comes out and that's uh, 10th of September so it's still like more than two weeks two weeks it's about two weeks so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do some Spelunky. Um, I've also got the game Papers, Please. I'm not sure if you heard of it. It's a fun game as well. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll record an episode of that as well so you can see. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. So, bye. Hey you guys, thank you for watching Stalkers. Remember to like, favorite, comment and subscribe. Have a great day, bye. Mm -hmm.